Right, very simply, everyone, uh, when you're, you're watching him, we made a little bit of a video series. Um, we had the McHale, and we looked at the uh, McHale supporting us in the Bale Challenge from the manufacturer's perspective. Then we looked very quickly at Farmhand supporting us from the with the Chrome Baler from the importer's perspective. And now we're back down in Cavan. I, we followed Alan. Uh, over here, three roads, I have no idea. I thought I was never getting home again, but we've waited till it started snowing. So we've come down and caught up with Wee Pete. Wee Pete was given the challenge of uh, driving the Kabuta around. Maybe not everybody knows this, but uh, the Kuhn iBio Plus and Tallyrap Baylor was actually his own Baylor that he dragged around Ireland. So, Pete, first and foremost, the question I have for you is, that was your bailer. How did you feel about taking it with you on the challenge? Did it annoy you or no uh, problems? Or? No, no problem whatsoever. Once it was for charity, I had no problem. No, no problem. We had a, we had a very good interview there and, and a few things that stick out from the interview was the Kubota. You, you liked the Kubota tractor, but it had a couple of wee issues. Just, just remind us of those. Or... Yeah, well, the, uh, the oil pump in it was, was too small, basically, for the size of the tractor. What is the oil demand on that baler if she's running to her full capacity? At least 110 but for her to work right. That seems like an awful lot of oil. In fairness to, it's I'm sticking up for Kabuta yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hundred, <laughs> yeah, it's 110, whereas theirs, I think the Kabuta was only 80 litres. She was an 80 litre as far yeah. as I remember, because I remember yeah. the fella coming out, and I remember uh, the Kuhn guys came out and they did a little bit of magic work yeah. With a, yeah, you can calibrate. You have to calibrate the bale or two, whatever tractors. And you did brag a little bit that day that um, your uh, Landini had an oil flow, something ridiculous, like of a, what was it, a hundred and... It's 163 litres a minute. <laughs> and we were like, we weighed the laugh, but that's your Landini tractor there. It's a 6145, and if I've got this right, Landini have moved away from Perkins. Yeah. And it's now a Fiat powertrain. And it's four, four and a half, half litre. Liter, yeah. And if I've also got this right, you absolutely love that tractor. Yeah, I have to say, um, ease of drive and everything's, well, I'm used to it now, but yeah, I have to say, serious hydraulics on it for loader work. The loader just shoots up and down, no problem. And when you get back home and finally got your Landini onto the Coombe Baylor and you run it the rest of the season, yeah. Had you any... No, I have to say, it never missed a bat. It bailed 100%. Yeah, grand. You enjoyed the Kubota other than oh, yeah. those couple of issues? PTO-wise, no issue with power. Great power. Yeah, yeah. have to say, great power. Once you got it calibrated, okay, it maybe slowed it down a little bit. Yeah, it just but... didn't, it wouldn't wrap as quick, or the hood wouldn't lift as quick. But she run faultless. Oh, yeah. Once no, that no. calibration, because yeah, yeah. yeah. we do remember watching you, the old run out of oil tip in a trailer type thing, yeah, the, the judder was coming in. Yeah. But once that was sorted, oh, yeah. she no, did no run problem. well. No problem, no problem. Um, why that type of a baler and not your more conventional fusion well, uh, or, or say the other type of kun? Because we, we also we also seen the kun uh, baler running with Alwyn Young when we yeah. joined them with him. Why, Great baler. Why, why um, that? Because to me, and it, it seems. What's the word? It just seems overly complicated in a small space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if that makes well, any sense. As you've probably seen on the way down with Alan, you see the hills and Aye. the hollows. <laughs> yeah. That's why. Basically. Do you think the Kuhn is a, a good bailer? I haven't seen one oh, yet. Well, I would be very impressed, yeah, with the pickup. The pickup is absolutely brilliant. 30-foot rows, 20-foot rows, doesn't matter. Just gallops it up. It actually never locked would you believe that the whole year seriously yeah and you see the last the, the bailing at the last come near the end of the season because there was more sods <laughs> than there was grass going into it and it still galloped it and the one thing we noticed in the challenge you were able to use a, a system that's pretty unique on that coon baler where you can put in two rolls of, of, of black plastic yeah. at the front there the ordinary and plastic. then it, it, i mean again it just blew it blew my mind watching your baler work yeah. and it does the same idea as the McHale fusion 3 yeah. it's putting a a, a wrap Film. of plastic around yeah. it then it stops comes back up into the center position then she lifts <laughs> she lifts it all up and then wraps the bale yeah. but 
feedback from customers is that a good job because oh. it's a it's the heavy plastic unbelievable or... because see when you go to feed your bales they're getting it, it's unreal because the net catches in the bale and it it tears it doesn't come off in a, in a full roll whereas the wrap will just yeah nearly just melts cut away. it and it falls open wow yeah so that's for, from that point of view, that's a good job. So you Good think job, and your bale is actually tighter. Then there's no net able to keep the bale as tight as the film. So you have a better ferment on your bale. So is there anyone you would like to just say a quick thank you to, you know, like it's your opportunity, you know, the likes of Coverus there, I see you. Well, there. I have to say Coverus, yeah. Um, I actually continued using their brand of wrap. Uh, there's a local merchant. Leo McCabe's in Canningstown, he's a rep for that rap. So I used that all year, and I have to say I got on well. No, we, had, we had no issues with no, the Johns with no, it no all. problem at all. And the guys from Tama, they were just on real crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's body warmers around the country everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I have to say, fair play to cover us. Um, definitely there is no issue with the rap. No. It's bulletproof. You weren't just a tractor driver, but on the, uh, on, on the bale challenge we did last year, you were actually the treasurer. That's right, yeah. So you, when we were running about, I used to sort of wonder, you were looking a wee bit under pressure at times throughout the week, and I suppose we were just laughing and joking and going on, but you had the very serious job of controlling and handling the money. Well, did you expect the challenge to just finish the way it did with the amount of money no, that we had? No, definitely not. We always had a figure of about 32,000 plus, maybe 35, but we definitely didn't think it was going to go to yeah. where it did. So, so to see it like double? Oh, double, yeah, it was great, it was brilliant. Brilliant. Well, yeah. I heard you were a happy man when you get the, they finally get the checks handed over. Oh, and everybody yeah. said yeah. you just sat, you just sort of sat down in the chair and just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, would you do it something like that again? Oh, yeah, 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 because. Uh, Look, somebody somewhere is getting benefit out of that few pounds, definitely, yeah. Oh, and yeah. how did you feel yourself? Because it was a tough week. Oh, yeah, it was a tough week. Definitely was. But as the week went on, did you uh, feel... Oh, yeah, that it got e yeah, it did. Well, I'm not saying it was easy now, but uh, it was a tough week, but it was well worth it. Mm -hmm. Well worth it. But you have to be prepared to put it into it, like to get it out of it. The amount of interest that that baler is getting everywhere it goes, there's people standing looking at it, scratching my head wondering, how is that doing that? <laughs>